supposed to be dead. I killed you. Don't try to run, Bambalina. I have to warn the others. I have to tell Ban Ban. Bambalina, wait. Just listen to me. Ban Ban? That about his back. Somehow he's alive. You saw him? I didn't just see him. I saw him kill someone. Who? Some human. And since I'm the one that found him out, I'm... I'm afraid I'm next. Oh, Bambalina, I would never hurt you. You tried to cut me up and stitch me together into a monster. Listen, I'm a changed man. I no longer wish to harm you. You, however, you won't be so lucky. What are you doing? Let her go! Why me? She's the one to throw you into a trash compactor. I have my reasons. I won't let you hurt him. But Bambolina, don't you see? I'm doing this for you. Huh, what? But I never want you to hurt Ban Ban! I love him! So you really haven't noticed. I've been doing all of this for you, don't you see? We may have gotten off to a rough start. I did kidnap you and try to cut you into pieces, and then try to kill you. That much is true, but I saw the light. You see, when you tried to kill me, I was overcome with an emotion I'd never felt before. I realized what it was all too late. I couldn't believe it. It was love. Her ruthlessness. Her strength. You know those qualities are hard to find in people these days. It was simply intoxicating. How could you fall for her? She was trying to kill you. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones if she is. I was able to assemble something close enough to my old form. My mechanics weren't damaged, so the damage you did was purely cosmetic. It really is what's on the inside that counts. And as for my escape... I was able to get out with sheer brute strength. Those were the easy parts. I'd never been in love before. I had no idea how to win her over. Thanks for taking care of that, Bambolina. We owe you one. No worries. I wasn't about to let you get cut up. I won't let anyone hurt you. At first, I needed to hide. I ducked into the nearest vent I could find. I knew I couldn't be seen. I would end up destroyed for good this time. So I made myself a new home in the walls. And from there, I made the decision to devote myself to Bambolina, to her happiness and her safety. Anything it took to get her to love me. That's why I did what I did earlier. That man I killed, he appeared to be a bounty hunter of some sort. He was planning to kill you. I knew I had to protect you. So while he stalked you, I stalked him. And it turns out I'm a much better stalker than he is. That puny little human never stood a chance against me. But it wasn't always that extreme. I started out simple. I did little things for you. Things so subtle you didn't even notice. Oh, okay. I was a true gentleman. I held open doors. I made sure you had everything you wanted. Darn. I wanted that. No matter how small. Oh, perfect. I didn't even care that you didn't know it was me. But one day, things took a more serious turn. Someone broke in. Must have been a burglar. While I find most humans pathetic and harmless, I had a sneaking feeling that he was no good. And I was right. I could sense he was going to hurt you, so I did what I had to do to keep you safe. And it kept happening. Not just the man you saw today, but even more. Some kind of inspector. He was probably there to demolish the building. I couldn't let that happen. I had to take him out. I got to surprise some sort of private investigator as well. If word found out about you, it could get you killed. Not on my watch. I had no problem getting rid of these useless humans if it meant keeping you safe. But I realized soon, your physical safety wasn't all that mattered. I forgot about your happiness. I swear, Bambolina, what's the point of wasting your time teaching those fake classes to those fake students? They're not alive, you know. You can't teach science to a basketball. But Ban Ban, I'm just trying to keep my teaching skills sharp in case the kindergarten ever comes back. The kindergarten isn't coming back, Bambolina. Pretending it will is a waste of your time and energy. But if I'm not teaching, what do I do? My advice? Try getting a hobby. <laughs>
I grew furious. How dare he treat you, the brightest mind I know, like garbage. Like it didn't matter. And that was only one of the times he mistreated you like that. It happened over and over. He insulted your intelligence. Sorry, geniuses only. You know I'm a math and science teacher, right? For elementary schoolers. Ignoring your help. Questioning you, even when you are clearly right. Bam Bam, wait! Those two chemicals are gonna have a really bad reaction. It says so right there- Didn't I tell you to leave this to the professionals? Who has the science degree again? Don't tell me what to do. All I'm saying is that if you mix those two together, it's gonna- Blow up right in your face. You tried to do so much for him, and he didn't appreciate any of it. I thought you liked them. I worked extra hard. Oh, no. Are they that bad? It's disgusting. Just leave the cooking to Chef Pigster, all right? It broke my heart to see you throwing your love at someone who would never understand. I knew exactly how you felt. He didn't deserve you. He doesn't deserve you. All this time, I made sure no one from the outside was hurting you. I hadn't thought about on the inside. I realized the biggest threat to your happiness, Bambolina, was Bam Bam. No, no, don't be afraid. It's me. You deserve better. I am better. You did all of that. You even killed people just for me? I wanted to keep you safe. It was all for you, all along. Bad Bad, you shouldn't have done those things. And I don't approve of your actions. But I used to think you were pure evil. If you can love hard enough to make you do all those crazy things, you must have some good in you, too. Bad Bad, I think you care about me more than anyone else ever has. Oh, Bambolina, I never thought I'd hear you say... Ah! Oh, you! How dare you! Excellent work, Bambolina. Great distraction. We really do make an excellent team. That wasn't a distraction! And Bad Bad's right! You've been hurting me for far too long, and it's time I put an end to it! I don't want to have this fight in public. We can talk this out later. For now, we have to take care of this monster. Bad Bad, now it's my turn to keep you from getting hurt. You saved me. Consider us even for all the times you looked out for me. Thank you, Bad Bad. Thank you.